Justin with Opting Out of Normal. Today I want to revisit a, a topic that I talked about a couple months back, uh, dealing with refilling one pound uh, cylinders. What I discovered is that there is one company out there that does make a DOT certified refillable one pound propane canister. That canister is made by Flame King. Easily, easily refillable. They do offer a whole refill kit that comes with everything minus the 20 pound cylinder required to refill. Um, it comes with a stand, it comes with one bottle, it comes with an Allen key, and it comes with the adapter to go from the 20 pound cylinder down to these one pound cylinders. Now I do not own one of those. Um, if you go back and look at my other video dealing with uh, refilling the disposable uh, one pound cylinders, I talked about having a setup also made by Flame King. It's this cylinder extension hose that uh, was originally designed so that you could use the one pound cylinders and use a torch head on the other end. Uh, used for uh, remote soldering uh, instead of having to, to move the, uh, the whole bottle around. Um, the, the hose comes with a clip that you could actually hang it from your waist and do all of your soldering easily with one hand. But I found that it's easily adaptable to also be uh, to allow you to refill the cylinders with a standard uh, 20 or 30 pound cylinder uh, just inverted the hose makes it a little, a little easier to handle so if you haven't had the opportunity to check out my my other video yet I will put a link up here and I will also uh, include a link down at the bottom so that you can go and check it out um, and I'll quickly show you the 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 basics on how to refill these two cylinders if you purchase four of your disposable cylinders filled with propane, you're going to spend approximately uh, $14, which will get you one of these DOT certified uh, refillable containers. These are good for 10 to 12 years, depending on where you're at. A standard empty tank with the setup on it uh, is going to weigh approximately or almost two pounds. It's uh, one pound, 10 ounces, 10.6 ounces, 10.7. It, it's bouncing back a little, back and forth a little bit, not a big deal. So the tanks are a little bit heavier than the disposable tanks, but they still have the same capacity, still 16.4 ounces. So, I'm going to go ahead and start the refilling process. So as you can see, we start off, we'll go ahead and zero the scale, it's zeroed, and we will open up the valve. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but you can hear the gas going through, or the liquid propane going through. Filling up the uh, the cylinder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to fill. Uh, when it starts slowing down, I will then open up that bleeder. The uh, uh, two thoughts on this is that if you don't have a scale, you can just use the, the bleeder itself. And like a, a typical propane refill, the uh, uh, once you get to the 80% mark, the liquid propane will come out the bleeder and will uh, 
will be an indicator you can shut down the, the their filling. So uh, since I'm using the scale, I'm going to fill it to 16 ounces and that is all. So uh, as it slows down, I will open up the bleeder to, to relieve some of the uh, some of the, the vapor off the top so that the liquid can continue to fill. Now watching it, the uh, uh, it basically it uh, it starts to slow down at approximately the same weight uh, that a standard Coleman uh, cylinder would uh, the would stop at. Using a very fine tip Allen. Go ahead and stick it in. Open it up. You can see then it starts to speed up again. Because it does release a, uh, a, a bunch of propane vapor that uh, uh, that does kind of have an odor to it, uh, I'm going to keep the, the bleeder closed and uh, and fill it again to the to the 16 ounces. Now it'll probably end up taking a little bit longer doing it this way because it's having to, to balance out against the uh, the vapor and the uh, the vapor pressure inside the tank. So uh, between this tank and the one that I'm using to refill with, it balances out. So then you have to open up the valve, but it's certainly easy enough to do. Get it going again. So you can see it's starting to, to bleed. So at that point, I turned it off. In total, by the time it started coming out, it was 15.6. So, so almost 16.4 fluid ounces. So that's all there is to it. Go ahead and leave any comments below. So I want to say thanks for watching. If you find any of my content uh, valuable, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and ring the bell if you'd like to be notified anytime I put up new content. 
Uh, and feel free to share it with all your friends. Uh, let them know to, to come check me out. Until next time, live simply, give more, and expect less.